All right, this is probably the final video I'm gonna do for my CB750. Uh, it is essentially done. Started out as a project bike that I bought. Um, saw it advertised locally. It was converted into a touring bike. It had a wind jammer fairing on it, but when I saw it in the pictures, it, it looked like there was probably gold underneath, and, and I think that definitely there was. Um, most of this bike is all original. Um, the chrome, pretty much every bit of it is original. I had to replace the gauge bezels, the chrome on the back, because they had they had gotten some pitting, I think, from being behind the wind jammer fairing. Uh, it was hard to, to, I think, clean those. So they had some rust pitting on them, and the mirrors had some rust pitting. Luckily, I had these sitting around. Uh, these correct mirrors for CB750. Um, obviously, it doesn't have the original exhaust system. Um, the rear wheel had been changed to a 16-inch. I guess that was a, a 1970s uh, touring thing, was to put a Harley rear wheel on it. So that has been relaced onto a new wheel, um, very similar to the original wheel, but not exact. Um, not a whole lot I can say about it. I mean, it's it's a survivor. It, it, there's no cracks in the side panels. There's little scratches. You zoom in close enough, you can see the tank has a couple little scratches, um, and the tank has some some fading, if you will, from uh, gasoline getting out of the cap over the years. I think. Um, but overall, considering this bike is, is what, 46 years old, it's a 1976, um, it's pretty, pretty nice. Not a museum piece, but um, definitely a very nice rider. Uh, it kind of kills me to sell it, but I've got too many other projects going on right now and not enough space for it. Um, 22,506 miles, that will go up slowly because I am riding it uh, around here and there. The lights work. Um, I think the only thing that doesn't work is the neutral. Somebody moved the, uh, the key switch up to the handlebar and I didn't put it back onto the frame. Um, personally, I think it, it works a lot better here. So it starts nice and easy. I had to, to clean the carburetors. They were, they had been sitting, the bike had been sitting for about 20 years uh, in a garage. When I got it, it had been moved into a, a barn for a few months. Uh, so it was really dusty. I ultrasonically cleaned the carbs, put a rebuild kit in it, and, um, and now it runs really nice. I, I can I, I feel like I could probably ride this bike just about anywhere uh, I'm taking it to Monterey this weekend to the uh, AHRMA motorcycle races at, at Laguna Seca uh, obviously I'm not going to race it but um, it, uh, it, it is just a super nice bike not perfect I don't want to give that impression but I don't think there's a lot of I don't think there's a lot of 46 year old motorcycles running around that look like that uh, and even the finish on the on the aluminum is all still pretty nice uh, chrome chrome is all really nice the aluminum on the back wheel uh, a little bit of a little bit of wax there um, original shock Should, it should kick start pretty easily too. If, uh, yep. First kick. So yeah, unfortunately I gotta let it go and I, uh, I'm kind of starting to love it, but that happens with every bike I have. So uh, currently asking 
9,000 um, reasonable offers will be entertained and contact me if you're interested. Thank you.